It's time for everybody's favorite subject, love. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome to yet another episode of me reacting to animations that were created by people who are way more talented than I am. So some of you may not know that I actually have a Twitter account. If you're not following me, you should, at KindlyKian. However, I received a message from a fan, Eliotrope King Yugo, and he directed me to an animator that goes by the name of Lockman and shared one of his animations. So, I leisurely went over to his channel and started watching some of his animations, namely his most latest one, Baldi's Basics vs. Goku and Vegeta animation. And I want to tell you guys, you need to check out this guy's channel. These animations are top notch. I had no idea what I was missing out on. So thank you to Eliotrope for guiding me to this beautiful cornucopia of magical animations. You should show Lockman some support. Head over to his channel and subscribe. But after clicking on only a couple of animations, I knew that I had to make a video. I gotta react to some of these fantastically made animations. And so that is precisely what we are going to do. I've selected just a few animations and we're gonna go through them together. Now I am gonna give you guys a quick disclaimer if you've never seen my quote unquote reaction type videos, I tend to pause the videos quite a bit just to kind of digest what I've what I've just experienced, what my eyeballs have just absorbed. So if you don't want all the pausing and the interruptions, go watch the video first, watch the real animation on Lockman's channel, and then come back and watch it with me. And if the pausing and the interruptions don't bother you, then just stick around, let's, let's do this. So the first one is Baldi versus Donkey Kong. This just seems magical in every way possible. That is, the principal. So, okay, Donkey Kong has has stolen the principal. It's I love that. I I absolutely love that. Detention for you. <laughs> Detention for who? Dude, you're the guy who's locked up. We got to save you. All right. So, Baldi's Why isn't this a real game? Why am I feel like I'm actually like playing. I'm I'm not the it's a video. It's just playing itself, but I feel like I'm playing a video game right now. Okay. Well, I was gonna say, Baldi, you better watch out for the barrels. That's typically how Mario handles the situation. Baldi doesn't care. He just he just plows through the barrels. When will you learn? Donkey Kong is it's attention in the hall. scared. <laughs> Hold up, is that what Donkey Kong actually sounds like? <laughs> that was my best Donkey Kong impression. A lot of phlegm involved in that. Okay, so I guess this is where the real battle begins. Baldi brings the the math pad. <laughs> is it is it gonna play out the way that it typically does? Is the third question gonna be impossible, and then is Donkey Kong going to die? Oh, bananas! I appreciate that Baldi is using an object that perhaps Donkey Kong is very familiar with. Donkey Kong loves bananas. After all, he is. A, a Kong, a gorilla, an ape? What is Donkey Kong? He's definitely not a donkey. Let's not think about it too hard. Let's see how Donkey Kong does. <laughs> he looks very confused right now, but he's not as dumb as he looks. So he knew that was three bananas. Okay, okay. It's not as hard as the first one. You got this. You got this, Donkey Kong. Two bananas. Well done. Look at how happy he is. He's very proud of himself. One times one equals. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. You can do this. No, Donkey Kong. You're dead. You're dead. Fight for your life, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong wins. <laughs> No one defeats Baldi after answering one of his math questions incorrectly. That was terrifying. How did Baldi do that? He got punched, obviously. Goodbye. And then he's just behind the barrels to 
to do whatever it is that he's going to do to, to Donkey Kong. We can assume it's going to involve rulers. That was awesome. That was so, so good. I do want to mention uh, Principal was never saved. He, I think that Baldy may have just, just carried on and just left Principal there in detention. These Donkey Kong noises are just incredible, no, I guess. So I loved this animation. Oh, Let's check out another one, shall we? All right. This one's called Baldy in Super Mario Bros. Mario time. It's good sounds. It's make me happy. I'm just, okay. Hello, Baldy. Welcome to Super Mario Brothers or something. What are you going to do? Are you going to smash this Goomba? <laughs> He's looking at you real suspiciously. Who's this dude? Is it just me or does Baldy kind of look like just a, a stretched Goomba? They got a lot in common. Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject. Math. All right, Goomba. It's time for you to do some math. <laughs> Is this how he's going to handle every single situation where he encounters something that he needs to battle with? He provides them with Goombas. One Goomba plus two Goombas. Come on. Three Goombas. I Oh, my gosh. I just noticed that the Goomba has little glasses on because, you know, that one he's he's nearsighted one. or farsighted. I don't know. He's one of the sighteds. You got this, Goomba. Great job. That's right. Goomba's got Problem this all day. Three. He's got this all day. Okay, that's gonna be a little tougher. Equals. I can't believe it. Wait. You're incredible. Is that seriously the right answer to the impossible question? The Goomba knows something that we don't. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. He's now encountered Mario. He's not giving him math, though. So that's nice. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. You did great. That here and get your prize. is terrifying. A shiny quarter. Just monster oh. baldy just crushing the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Just smashing it to pieces. Awesome. What's he going to do here? He can't fit in the pipe. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. Why would you do that? Oh gosh. It, be, it makes sense, right? If he was a giant, he'd just stick his hand in the pipe. That was scary. That was so much scarier than it needed to be. Oh my goodness. No running in the hall. Detention for you. All right. Your parents will hear about this one. Hmm? When will you Does learn? Does Mario have parents? Oh, the mystery of Mario's parents is quite elusive. Dude, that is the worst detention ever. Just a pit of lava where you ultimately will die. In the meantime, Bowser's just taking a nap, waiting for Mario. Trying to stop Mario will inevitably fail in stopping Mario. Mario will hit the axe and then he will fall into the lava. And Baldi is just immune to lava, obviously, and also still giant. <laughs> just pandemonium in the Mushroom Kingdom. Giant Baldi is destroying everything in his path. All right. Hey, that's a pretty good. Who's number one now? Luigi. Luigi number one. Well, that ended abruptly. You know what they say, don't bring a ruler to a gunfight. Luigi wins. All right. Luigi is number hey, one. He, he's always good. he's always good trying to outdo Mario. This time you've done it, buddy. You are truly number one. I gotta say, Baldy busting through Bowser's castle. <laughs> that is one of the greatest things I think I've ever seen. Oh, that was good. All right, let's move on to our final animation for the day and what could possibly be the most beautiful story ever told. All right, this one is called Baldi meets Baldina. Um, let's see what happens. I assume this is us. Oh, oh, I saw her, there. Baldi spotted her too. Who's that pretty lady? Look at all that hair. It's luscious, beautiful eyelashes. Look at those lips. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Baldy, he's like, he's all embarrassed. Oh, this is cute. 
This is too cute. Problem one. Oh! Six. Great That's wrong. Job. That's That was negative six. I think Baldy just gave Baldina a free pass because he likes her. That's kind of cute. Two. I wish he would do the same for me, but I'm not nearly as pretty, I guess. All right. Can she do it? <laughs> she speaks impossible question. Uh, shoot. That's what I've been doing wrong this whole time. I'm trying to answer it with real numbers. I'm trying to answer it with coherent noises. Next time we play Baldi's Basics, I'm just gonna make weird noises. See if that works. It's, it's a match made in heaven. It, I mean, she answered the impossible question correctly. I, yeah, okay, so this is us. It says P, I think, for player. Just, just pulling on that hair. Wait. Oh no, she's seen the bad side of Baldi. <laughs> oh, heartbroken Baldi. That's what you get for being a jerk. You should be nicer to the students. That's how you get the ladies. That's how you get the Baldinas. Let's see, you messed this up, Baldi. You messed this up, don't blame us. Go find her, get her back. Denied, denied. Oh gosh, not, no, no. Why? Playtime, oh gosh! Oh, no! Her head! Playtime, why is your head like that? Oh, this is very upsetting. Is her brain made of hair? I hate to say it, but it kind of explains a lot. Once you do, I let you go. You know, oh. six is the highest that playtime can count to. And, and Baldina's getting away. She ruined it. Playtime, he was gonna go get Baldina back. And now, oh, I, I kind of feel bad for him, even though he was kind of a jerk, right? Like, he didn't need to attack this poor player child with a ruler. That said, the player child was being super annoying. I mean, he was like standing on his head, pulling his his one hair. That's a very important hair to him. What if he pulled it out? He wouldn't be the baldy that we know and love. I feel bad for him. I do. He's just, he's not even mathing. And why are there only two students in his class? It's kind of weird. Wait, what's happening? Sound like a character from Animal Crossing. Oh! Aww! She gave her sorry flowers! They've reconciled their differences. See, everybody's friends. Oh my gosh, a hug from Baldi? Oh. Of course. There's always... There's always an ulterior motive. But love has changed Baldi! Or not! Hit me with a rule, er. It is there was there's supposed to be an R there. That's fine. Baldi's not the changed man that I thought he was. I gave him more credit than I should have. Let's go back to the moment where Baldi first sees Baldina. It's just, just a beautiful, beautiful moment of, of Baldi finding more in life than just math and rulers. That's right. He found love. It's truly adorable. This animation was so stinking good. Bravo. We got we got the arc, you know. We had we had the introduction. Baldi finds love. Then we have some conflict where, where Baldi loses love, but then everybody comes together in the end, and 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 love conquers all. And until he puts a until he puts a, a note on the back of our back that says we want to get hit with a ruler. That's kind of messed up, Baldi. But either way, you know we're not innocent in this either. Everybody, everybody wins, I suppose. This, it's a great story. So in case this hasn't convinced you already, you should head over to Lockman's channel. I will have links in the description down below so that you guys can watch each of these videos by themselves without my annoying voice over the top of them. Watch them in peace and purity. And then go over to Lockman's channel and subscribe to it because there are so many more. And if you guys enjoy this particular video, I'm sure we will check out more animations in the future. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more 
You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.